of people that don't Amen. care. Amen. They don't mm. care about Amen. you. Yes. Before they can say, I'm sorry, they have to have some empathy towards the That's person. If I do this guy wrong, I have empathy towards him. They have no empathy towards us. I have a minus two. Because of McGinty, prosecutor mishandling the case, minus his job. Because of Judge John O'Donnell mishandling Brelo, you minus his job. So I'm just happy to be a part of the community taking a stand and letting them know no longer will the black vote be taken for granted. No longer will we put politicians in offices that do not listen to the community's needs. The erroneous police killing of Melissa Williams and Timothy Russell, one of the worst police incidents in the history of Cleveland. But it is symbolic, it is symbolic of the ongoing disrespect and indictment against the black Our community. That's but right. you can't remove your skin. That's right. So no matter what you do, you know what I'm saying, you'll still be a nigger in the eyes of the white man. No matter mm -hmm. and, and, and no disrespect to anybody out here. But the truth is the light. Yes, no matter is. how no matter how much we want to move from our neighborhoods, this is our neighborhood. Right. You can't move. You can't be removed. Your skin color cannot be removed. You know, and it and it saddens me because we think that because we 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 move up the ladder of corporate corporate America and we hope and we prop up the institutions that has that has capitalized on the the uh, enslavement of, of a lesser people, you know, and, and, and this is what's not happening. We've, we've allowed a, a system to allow us to as, as African people, you know what I'm saying, but we as black people, we control our destiny. Everybody that has that has forgotten us, city council that has forgotten us, all those people that has forgotten us, mm -hmm. we have the ability Right. To do this right. next year, you know what I'm saying, and we Ooh. show that this year, yes, you know what I'm indeed. saying, with the Bree location and every uh -huh. and, and every other case that will come before us, we will not tolerate, we will not tolerate not being heard in our neighborhoods. We will not tolerate being be, uh, paying out tax dollars. You know what I'm saying, and our and our voices are not heard. That's right. That's no. right. Because this past election gave us the answer as to what the system think about us. Yes. Hello. That's right. So so don't even talk to the system. I think we need to go back and read what Mac and S gave us the blueprint. Yes, ma'am. Mac and S has given us the blueprint. That's right. So why are we out here begging the system to do the right thing? They have a blueprint. Right. They don't care. A person like Relo, he guaranteed that he would get their jobs back. Mm -hmm. Now this same individual sits on the decree panel that the Justice Department has instituted for this city, for the city of Cleveland, and his actions sitting on that board and uh, representing the police, uh, police department is a conflict of interest. It's a conflict of interest because you cannot say you, you're protecting the lives of the citizens and you're guaranteeing these officers job back and you're sitting over here at the table with the, the families that these officers have killed mm. and giving them a bunch of mumbo jumbo because this is this is horrendous what happened with these two unarmed homeless people being chased in the way that uh, Mr. Russell and Miss Williams were chased and and gunned down and a savage just assassinated was an abomination and an affront to every black person in this country and uh, and should be to every human being in this country 86 87 88 89 